this was quite the game. It was back and forth. You had 15 points in that fourth quarter that sparked and fueled this team. What came alive in that frame, and what is it about taking on this Toronto team where the fourth quarter Dennis comes out? Um, I think uh, we played great as a team. Um, the fans, of course, helped us a lot. Um, and we appreciate you guys for coming. And um, I think just staying with it, you know, um, still believing, get defensive stops, and uh, on the offensive end, just play free. Now, I got to ask about you, though, because it seemed as if you got into a zone. What was just your mindset, and what were you reading in that fourth? Just being aggressive, being myself, um, you know, just attacking downhill, um, believe in my shot, and uh, I think uh, it went well. It was a block party, 15 blocks as a group, thanks to Nick Claxton and Noah Clowney and Dayron Sharp. But when you have guys like that who can be just a lethal shot blocker, what is it like to share the floor with them? Um, it's great. I mean, he's been amazing for us, you know, all season. I think the small guards can, you know, um, pressure full court because uh, he is the defensive anchor and make sure uh, nothing gets to the rim. And, uh, yeah, we thank him. Yeah, thank the fans. Just how sweet is it to get a victory in this last home season game in front of these fans, in front of Barclays? I mean, the fans were amazing all season. Um, and uh, I think uh, it's not what we expected um, this season, but next season we're going to come out strong and uh, try to make the playoffs. Thanks, Dennis. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, guys. Back to you, Ian. All right. Megan, thank you so much. Dennis Schroeder has been a class act since being acquired from Toronto. He's been a professional, and he's been a leader.